Assalamu alaikum grade 3 Today's session inshallah will be about something new and it's called probability Okay There are events that are impossible to happen Some are possible to happen and others are certain to take place Okay The first one that we speak about is the impossible event the impossible event that even that can't be happened ever okay and we have some are possible that maybe will happen maybe will happen or maybe will not and the other are certain to take place that means we are sure that will happen so we have three events the first one is impossible to happen it will ever never happen and the second one possible that mean maybe will happen and maybe will not and the third one is certain that i'm sure i'm hard i'm hundred percent sure that it it will happen okay let's see examples the sun will rise tomorrow will the sun uh, rise or will not it's a certain event we sure that when we wake up at the morning we will find the sun that's mean this is a certain event why because we are hundred percent sure that this will happen okay here is the second example the cow will fly can the cow fly i think no and it can't ever fly why because it's heavy and so heavy so she can't fly that's mean it's impossible to happen it will never happen ever the third one the student will get the full mark in the exam okay maybe the student will get the full mark and maybe will not so this means it's possible maybe will happen and maybe will not and this is the possible event so we have three events the, cer the first one is certain event that i am sure that it will happen the impossible event and that i am sure that it will not happen ever and the third one that it's perfectly happen maybe will happen and maybe will not okay here we have here this bowl we have a container and it has yellow balls okay so if i hide my if i close my eyes and try to pick a ball from here what is the color of this ball of course will be yellow that's mean i am sure that the drawn ball is yellow so it's a certain event that the drawn ball is yellow the probability of picking a yellow ball is certain why because i'm sure if i close my eyes and pick the ba the ball it will be yellow because we don't have any color else and here the probability the probability we can calculate it by numbers okay so what is the probability of the certain event the certain event i am sure that it will happen so the probability of it equals one so the probability of the certain event the event that i am sure that it will happen the probability of it equals one okay let's see this container it has yellow and red balls so if i close my eyes and try to draw a ball okay it will be it will be maybe will be red or will be yellow so it has maybe so it's possible so the probability of picking a red ball is possible if i close my eyes maybe i will pick a red ball or a yellow ball okay what about the probability of it it's equals what okay the possible event the probability of the possible event is between zero and one that's mean it will be fraction here it is the third one if i have this container and it has blue balls and i'm trying to pick a yellow ball can i pick a yellow ball from this container i think no because all the balls are blue that mean it's impossible to pick a yellow ball and the probability of the impossible event equal zero 
Okay, we have an important important piece of information, and that say that the probability of any thing is between zero and one. It can't be more than one. Why? Because the probability maybe I will I will be sure. So it's one hundred percent that will happen. So the probability of the certain event equal one. The probability of the impossible event equal zero. And the possible is between them. It's between 0 and 1. So it will be a fraction. Okay. In the figure below, find... Here it is the first question. The probability that the drawn apple is red. Okay. How can I calculate the probability of anything like this? The first step, you have to know the total number that you have. The total number of the apples or the fruits that you have so the total equal count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have the total number equal eleven why i'm using the total number i will say to you now to find the probability of anything it will be a possible why because it's maybe i will pick a red apple or green apple or yellow apple that's me that's mean that it's maybe or possible to get any one of them that's mean the probability will be a fraction okay how the fraction will be written it's like this i will write up the number of the thing that i'm asking about I'm asking about the drone apple is red. So I will count the red apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will write it up. And down, I will write the total number of apples. That's why we get it at the beginning. So it's six over eleven. Have we finished now? No. We have to look at this fraction. We said when we take the fraction, when we have a fraction, we have to look at this. If it needs to be simplified, we will simplify it. If it will not, we will leave it. 6 over 11, can we simplify it? No. So we will leave it. So here the rule of the probability is the number of the red apples, because I'm asking about the red apples, over the total number of fruits the total number of the basket here the second the second question the probability is that the drone apple is yellow we said at the beginning we would write up the number of the things that i'm asking about and down the total number how many yellow apples that we have it's one so it will be 1 over the total number is 11 so it's 1 over 11 and it can't be simplified so we will leave it the third question the probability is that the drone fruit is banana do we have bananas in this basket no we don't but we have a rule that we will write the number of the things that we asking about over the total number how many bananas that we have zero so i would write zero over the total number it's 11 so zero over 11 and zero over 11 equal it's like zero divide 11 equals zero why because this is impossible event i can't take a banana from this basket it's it's not having bananas so it's impossible event and the probability of the impossible event equal zero the same basket the probability that the drone apple is not yellow he said apple and it's not yellow okay we have yellow red and green and i'm saying it's not yellow so it will be maybe will be red and maybe will be green okay that's mean it's red or green so i will add the probability of getting green plus the probability of getting red why because i'm saying it's not yellow so it will be red or green okay let's count the green first 
one, two, three, four. So it's four over eleven. And the red. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's six over eleven. So we will add them. We're keeping the denominator because it's the same. Then add the numerators. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Does it need to be simplified? No. Okay. We have a new thing now. All of us know the coins. Like this. The one pound that we use it. It has two faces. One of them called head and one of them called tail this is head and this is tail okay so it has two faces so i have to know the total number how many faces that we have two this is the total number so the total equal two okay when i flip this coin do i know which face that i will find no, because it maybe will be head or maybe will be tail. So it's possible even. Okay, so if I want to calculate the probability of getting head, that's mean I will write the, count, the number of the head over the total number. The total number is 2. And even if I'm asking about the tail, the total number is 2. Okay, and up. We are writing the number of the things that I'm asking about. If I'm asking about the head, how many heads that we have? It's one. So one over two. What about the tail? How many tails that we have? It's one. So one over two. That's mean the probability of getting a head equals half and the probability of getting tail equals half. Here it is. The probability of getting head equals half. The probability of getting tail equals half. Okay, all of us know the die, or we can say die or dice. When you throw a dice once, which numbers that you can get? Okay, how many faces that the dice have? It's six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And each face is written on it a number. And it's ordered by from 1 to 6. Only the numbers from 1 to 6. 1 point means 1, 2 points means 2, 3 points mean 3, and so on. So the numbers that we have, it, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are the numbers that we have. So how many faces that we have? six so the total number of us equal six for the dice that's mean the total number is a changing from a question to another let's see the first question the probability of getting a number the number one if we flip the, the dice how many faces that the one is written in it it's only one face so how many ones appear only once so it's one over the total number over 6. What about if I'm asking about the probability of getting the number 2? That's mean I will count the faces that we have number 2. It's only one face written on it 2. So it's 1 over the total number and the total number is 6. Okay, what about the probability of getting the number 3? How many 3's that we have here? It's only 1, so it's 1 over 6. The probability of getting 4, 1 over 6, because we have only one face written on it, 4. Uh, the probability of getting 5, 1 over 6. The probability of getting the number 6 is 1 over 6. So if I'm asking you about the probability of any number of these numbers appear, it will be 1 over 6, because each number is appearing only once. Okay, we have different question here. If I'm asking you about the probability of getting an even number from this die how many even numbers that we have here it is we have all the numbers here is uh, a two is even the four is even and the six is even 
so the probability of getting even number I will count how many even numbers that we have over the total number okay so how many even numbers that we have one two three so it will be three over the total number is six so it will be three over six but we have to look is this number can be simplified three and six yes they are existing table three so we will divide up and down by three okay so up three divide three equal one and six divide three equal two that's mean the probability of getting even number equals half okay what about if i'm asking you about the probability of getting uh odd number how many odd numbers that we have we have the one and we have the three and we have the five so how many e odd numbers that we have it one two three they are three so it will be three over six and it's like the other will divide up by three and divide down by three so it will be equals half so if i'm asking you about the probability of appearing any number from one to six it will equal 1 over 6. The probability of getting even number equal half. The probability of getting odd number equals half also. The same that. The probability of getting a number greater than 6. Do we have any number greater than 6 in this die? We don't have. That's mean it's impossible event and the probability of the impossible event equal zero okay what about if I'm asking you the probability of getting a number smaller than one do we have a number smaller than one we don't have that's mean it's impossible event so the probability of it equal zero the probability of getting a number smaller than one equal zero Okay, the probability of getting a number is smaller than or equal to 6. So, all the numbers smaller than or equal to 6. And what are them? It's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. These are the things that he's asking about, smaller than or equal to 6. How many number? There are 6 over the total number 6. So 6 over 6 equal 